everyone, welcome to this week's Mod Spotlight. This is week 51, and yes, it's the final Mod Spotlight. Not really, but uh, it is sort of the final Mod Spotlight. Uh, tomorrow, or sorry, Wednesday, there's going to be the final, final Mod Spotlight, which is a... Uh, I didn't know what that, what that was. Uh, which is going to be the... Um, the mod spotlights of the year, like the best mods I found this year. Um, and uh, I think you guys are gonna find some surprises in there. Please check that out on Wednesday. It's gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna be awesome. Um, and it's gonna have some special guests. Uh, right, um, this week's mods, there was not that many, but there weren't bad at all. There are some really nice mods and I think you guys and girls are probably gonna like it. But, first things first, I, you're probably all wondering why I look, I look like I'm a little bit smaller than usual, and the reason why is I finally fixed that Splatoon mod. I want to thank, I forgot his name, Bro Hooves, um, who's, uh, who was one of the people that helped make the mod, and uh, I'm just going to say right now, this mod is freaking awesome. Uh, I'll show you how to use it. You first have to, which is a mistake I was making a lot, you first have to select the squid thingy, whatever the heck it is, one of these chicks. Um, you have to select one of them, and uh, I got the squid like, person, whatever the heck she is. Um, you have to select one of them first, and this is the only way it will work. You have to download a ton of mods, by the way, uh, for this. You gotta go to Splatoon, choose one of these, uh, I'll take this one, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you gotta spawn a couple of Splatoon inks. Let's go with this light blue, press E. Uh, still doesn't work, which is kind of weird. Uh, don't understand why it's not working. Um, maybe it's because I'm using the wrong gun. One second. Yep, I think it's because I have the wrong gun. Um, yep, and uh, as you can see, immediately our camera turns to a third person. Right trigger, and you can zoom in, and you can shoot paint. So let's paint the house a little bit. Oh! So it actually works like the actual Splatoon game. It's sort of intended to be a game mode. Uh, it's currently in work in progress, and it's actually pretty awesome that we can even have Splatoon in Gary's mods. And uh, I honestly think it's one of the coolest mods I've checked out all year. It's a shame I already finished up my uh, my mod spotlight because this is actually probably the coolest, one of the coolest mods I've seen in a long time. And uh, you can shoot these balls and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see if I could change color. Uh, I think I go to entities. Uh, no, we don't have orange. Let's go with sorry green. Uh, let's go with a little bit of white. I'm not being racist at all. Um, back the hold it. It's like, yeah, snow, more snow. Actually, that's not snow, that's a uh, bird dung. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, the guys that are actually making this, they are looking for developers and looking for people who would like to help make the mod. And I urge people to go check this mod out because it's just freaking awesome. And uh, I, I think you guys are really, uh, should really go give them support because if this thing becomes a game mode, I will do a video on it because it is actually really, really, really cool. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you hold control, you do this weird thing where you're a squid. I've never played Splatoon, so I don't know if this is normal whatsoever, but I saw this and it seems to be pretty normal. Um, but it's pretty awesome and I really, really love it. Um, oops. So yeah, moving that aside, definitely go check that one out. I'm going to change my player model at this point, um, which we're going to change to, and Linowix gives me a big punch in the face uh, uh, this year, because he has produced some pretty cool Rainbow Siege uh, player models. I don't know what IQ is or Doc, it doesn't really matter. There's a couple of these he's produced. You can change the skins and everything, uh, I think. I'm not really too sure. Not in this case, what is the woman? Can I change the woman uh, for a second? No, I can't change her. Uh, oh, I can change the uh, arm pose. Okay, that's uh, pretty cool actually. Uh, we're gonna be the guy. You know, gotta be 
be the guy. I gotta keep the visor on. It's gonna put the radio off, a holster. I don't really like the chest pack. Um, but you could really, like I said, it's a typical Linux uh, player model. And it's really, really awesome. And I definitely would recommend you guys to go check this out because, yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome. There's not really much to say about it except that it's possibly the coolest. Um, well, there goes your childhoods. Uh, probably one of the coolest um, player models out there. So definitely go check those two out because I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, but still, you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, this is, I believe, part of another uh, mode, which we'll look at later. Now, Santa's finally joined the Gary's mod. <laughs> I don't want to say anything right now, but, the, you know, he's joined the uh, Gary's mod community. I can only imagine what you guys are going to do to him. Um, it's actually probably the best Santa I could see there. It's definitely better than Dr. Brain. Uh, as Santa. This is very well modeled and honestly it's pretty pretty awesome. You know, I really really like him. He's he's cool. It's a shame he can't change his color but I don't think you know, I don't understand why we have this color wheel anymore on the right. It, it does jack all in the end. Uh, but yeah, really really cool. Definitely go uh, download this, especially since Santa is uh, coming to town. So please go have a look at that one. Now, um, let's check out some weapons. I know Shocker here. Uh, we're first going to look at a customizable weapon, which is the Crisis 2 customizable weapon. Uh, this is actually one of the assault rifles. Uh, I believe it's called the Scar. And, uh, I remember playing Counter-Strike, sorry, Crisis 2. And, uh, I love that game to bits. I mean, that game is seriously awesome. Oh, good thing I reloaded. Uh, if I hold C, I can change a lot of things. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. Slide of hand. Lightweight. Okay. Let's go with Magnum. Gonna have to reload this. Let's go for a couple of scoops. Uh, they were showing a lot of the uh, EOTech, so I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, reload. And now let's check it out on a couple of... Uh, on a couple of, uh, you know, enemies. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, aliens? What the heck is this? Nope. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Let's try it on a... Oops, I, for some reason, have no clip. Let's try it on these, uh, UCAF, whatever the heck they are. Uh, USAF, uh, pilots. Uh, oops, bit of lag. Yeah, pretty good. What else can I say except... Very awesome, although they do disintegrate pretty quickly, the enemies, but that could also just be, you know, you know, gore overhaul. Darn you, TFA. Again. Um, uh, I have to always blame TFA for something. Um, the next one I want to show you is another customizable weapon, which is RWBY. I have no idea what this is. When I saw the image, it looked like it was something from an anime, and I don't watch anime. I know a lot of people are going to shoot me. There are reasons why I don't watch anime. And uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but yeah, let's um, let's try this out. This is the Glock. Again, they seem to do a lot of damage. The M29 Mertenister, or whatever the heck it is. I'm getting a bit of a lighting issue, but it might just be the map. Uh, cool. Uh, the Crescent Rose. Oops, sorry. The Crescent Rose, which is pretty good, but I don't particularly like the scope. I think it's way too zoomed in. And it doesn't really, you know, if you're going to be playing a sniper game with someone, I wouldn't say this is a weapon you would use. This is a Spaz-12 with an uh, Ember Silk Silica. And, uh, yeah, nothing else much to say. I think you could add a couple of things as well. Um, let's see if there's a difference, actually. Um, let's try it on a couple of loads. This is taking forever to load. Okay, um, shame you can't add scope, but, um, overall, very, very good. Yeah, I like it. I got no issues with it. Very good. Uh, the next one is a sound sweep, and I know you guys hate sound sweep, but I gotta put this one in because let's be honest here, people. If you're American, you know exactly what you're gonna, I know exactly what you're gonna say, and you're gonna say is, yep, 
this actually happened because we're so proud of this actual individual. It's not even funny. Uh, Gary Newman, not the Gary Newman, uh, created a, a suite that uh, basically talks about um, uh, Donald Trump. It has not been easy for me. And, you know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. Yep, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't do any damage. Uh, it's pretty... It has not been easy for Pretty me. much useless. You know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. And, uh, yeah, it's just embarrassing. So for anyone who doesn't know, that's Donald J. Trump, who is a presidential candidate uh, right now. If you don't know who he is, well, I don't blame you for not knowing who he is. It's a good thing that you do try to forget who he is. Uh, but all honesty aside, uh, all jokes aside... It's pretty funny, and it's got some, it's, yeah, it's a funny sweep. I had to put it in there, because, you know. Why the heck not? Um, nope, not gonna look at these. Uh, I believe, in terms of weapons, this is actually pretty much it. Now, the next mod I want to show you is a mod that seems to be bugging while I'm making this review. It's the Stationary Weapons Pack. I don't know why it's not really working on this particular um, map, but I can assure you this does work. Basically what it does is it allows you to spawn these stationary uh, places and you can have uh, and yeah, you can have a pretty cool shootout. Uh, it does work, but for some reason mine doesn't work, so I can't review it right now. But it's pretty awesome and I really, really do dig it. However, we now get to the sort of cool part. I think this is a cool part, if I may say so myself. Uh, I'm actually trying to find it. Uh, ah, dang it. I can't seem to find uh, what I was looking for. Basically, there is a, uh, a Mr. Handy. Um, Oh wait, maybe he's here actually. Let's, uh, let's check if, he, if we've got Mr. Handy here. No, we haven't got a Mr. Handy. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, we have Mr. Handy. He has his, his things and everything. I think his prop is actually, uh, is actually down here. Um, no, he doesn't seem to be here. Wait. Mr. Handy here? Come on, Mr. Handy, show me where you- There you are! Uh, Mr. Handy from Fallout 4. He's here, just for some reason he doesn't work on mine. That's probably my fault. He's seriously cool. I can't believe he's actually in this game. Uh, and ready to be used. Um, it's, a, it's awesome that we're getting more and more Fallout 4 props, because Fallout is just the best. And I'm just happy I was there in 2008 when the first game came, when Fallout 3 came out, the first Bethesda game uh, for Fallout, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome. Definitely go check the Mr. Handy Pack out. Again, I don't know why it's not working. It's just weird today. Um, let's check out something really cool. It's the New York Tech uh, car, uh, cars. Um, you know, oops, plane pack. Now, this plane pack is awesome, although I think I'm in the wrong map to test it. But basically, you can use this very cool flying planes. And they have a, a whole bunch, by the way. Um, yeah, this is definitely the wrong map. I feel like we're going to have a, a huge accident, which clearly happened. Um... But they have all kinds of really cool stuff. I mean, what the heck is this? I don't even want to know. Uh, what the heck? Okay. That was... Unexpected. Um... Maybe I should try another plane. I love trying this. Let's try something else though. New uh, combine helicopter. Oh, you can play in the hot helicopter now. Oh, yes. Why is it going reverse? What the heck? What happened? It just blew up in smoke. Ho, 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 guys. I blew up your ship in your face. Okay, let's see. The warbirds. Oh, these seem to be the old world war. One in World War Two planes. All right, let's try this one. Whatever this is, this is a Mitsubishi. Oh wait, this is the Japanese planes. I know this War Thunder. Okay, I. You also can't directly get out of them. I don't know 
why I have to always undo everything. It's, it's really bizarre. I don't know why I have that issue. Let me know, guys. Okay, um, so if you're actually watching this in person, I mean, this is sorry. It wasn't my fault. It's just I suck today. Right, we are, we are good in the air. How come the awesome player is just doing fine with the slow pace is doing that? Okay, it seems like things haven't changed. But there's a whole variety of stuff you can go check out. And like I said, they're really, really cool. Um, you know, and I got no issues with them whatsoever. So definitely go check out uh, the... I don't see a lot of props in one big collection. I prefer props that are a bit like that. And I'm sure a lot of you are as well. Uh, even though if you're a modder, you probably prefer them individually. But that's a different story. Um, and that's it. That's it, everyone. 2015 mods are over. Um, I just want to take this point to say thank you very much for all your love and support throughout this year. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on Wednesday, but really, thank you for everything. You guys have been absolutely awesome. And, you know, it's been a very difficult year. 2015 has not been the best year for a lot of us. Uh, but we are still here, and we still do our things, and we still love uh, making stuff in Gary's Mod. And we still overall uh, have a lot of fun. And Gary's Mod is about having fun, you know? Gary's Mod is about, you know, doing whatever the heck you want and just enjoying it. And, um, and that's what I love about being part of the community. Because we have done some, inc well, you guys have done some amazing things. Whether it's supporting YouTubers, whether it's making mods, maps, whatever. All your involvement counts. And people, I can assure you, they appreciate it. Not many people in the world have the chance to play this game, and the people who do, you guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you. Uh, around this time last year, I just got 300 subscribers, which is a big deal. Now I'm up to 1,200, almost 1,300 subscribers. And maybe by the end of this week, I will have 1,300. Who knows? I don't know, but that's why I love it. I will continue making mods this uh, mod spotlights uh till the end of next year i think who knows what the future will tell but you can expect more videos in january and like i said i really want to thank you there's a couple of people at this point i really want to thank i want to thank my good buddy tfa i want to thank my very good buddy Takoji. uh you know he's my brother from another mother and he's really awesome i really want to thank devo city who's been an absolute support dgp um you know, uh, G Bros MC, of course, Level, who used to make map spotlights uh, for our videos. And uh, yeah, even to Angels, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's doing, but I guess I thank him for uh, being one of the people who were first involved in making, um, helping with the mods and servers and all kinds of stuff. 
And uh, yeah, even recent people, recent, you know, a lot of other recent people as well that I probably am forgetting, and I apologize in advance if I've not mentioned you. Uh, you know, there's, you know, I want to thank my good buds, uh, Sundara Jake, aka um, my good bud Jesper, Ollie, who you may have remembered from my previous videos, Bart, and Dimitri. These guys are the coolest, and I really want to thank them all for tolerating my incompetence 99, if not. 100% of the time, if not all the time. Actually, 100% of the time is the exact same thing. Oh, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and please have a great Christmas and a great new year. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and don't forget to also dislike it and let me know what changes I can make, any changes, any improvements you would like me to, to do. I will try my best to address 99% of all of them. You guys have been absolutely awesome this year. Thank you so much. And let's have an awesome 2016 because 2015, it was good for Gary's mod. But 2016, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that one a bit more. Thank you so much, guys and girls. Have a great Christmas and I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care, folks. Bye for now.